Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. In today's episode, Death's Head. Death's Head, is in fact not your friendly neighborhood emissary of hell, but a hawk moth. Its name, came from an interestingly human skull-shaped pattern on its back or thorax in insect anatomy term, which of course fostered superstitious fears of the Death's Head hawk moth as people associated it with the dead and the supernatural. Named after the moth, Death's Head seeks to turn those superstitious fear into real one as it imposes the concept of death onto its target from miles away. Looking at its stats, Death's Head has an average health, good evasion, and average e-defense. Its speed is good, heat cap is normal, and while it has an incredible sensor range, it doesn't really have a tech attack bonus to boost its tech attack. Onto its traits, it has two of them. First, Neuralinked, allows Death's Head to reroll the very first ranged attack it makes per round, but you must keep the second result. Second, perfected targeting, give Death's Head plus one bonus to all ranged attack rolls. Both of these traits make Death's Head an incredibly powerful ranged attack mech. Onto its weapon mounts, it has two, one main slash auxiliary mount, and one heavy along with six base system points to play with. As for its core power, Death's Head can activate neural shunt within its precognitive targeting. Basically, for the rest of the round, you can see into the future and use a full action called, Mark for Death. To use it, choose a target within range 30 but not range 5 of you. After choosing a target, you will be concentrating on it, causing you to be immobilized and unable to make any reaction. When concentrating on the target, if the target isn't in cover or within range 5 of you, your ranged attack against the target can deal plus 3d6 bonus damage upon a critical hit. You may stop concentrating as a protocol at the start of any of your turns. However, do note that you may only concentrate on one target at once. With this core power, Death's Head is designed to deal high amount of damage onto a single target repeatedly. However, you should learn to pick your target wisely as this core power requires more fitness than most. Onto the rest of the license, you get High Stress Mag Clamp and Tracking Drone in the first section. High Stress Mag Clamp allows you to truly become emissary of hell by letting you move on walls and overhanging surfaces. Essentially, you treat moving on walls and overhanging surfaces as flat ground, no longer counts as climbing on these surfaces and can move at normal speed. However, if you get knocked prone, you will fall. Tracking drone, is not quite a drone but rather a quick tech upgrade that gives you a quick tech attack action called, tracking drone. Yeah that's kinda redundant to use it, make a tech attack against a target within your sensor range. Upon a successful hit, you know the target's exact location, health point, structure, heat, and speed no matter where it is. It also cannot hide, and even invisibility cannot save itself from your attack as you could completely ignore that. To remove the tracking drone, the target must make a quick action and pass an engineering check to do so. In short, this is the perfect tool to make sure a target can never escape from you. In the second section, you get Core Siphon and Vulture DMR aside from Death's Head frame itself. Core Siphon, is a system that allows you to give your first attack roll a plus one accuracy, however, in doing so, all other attack rolls you make until the end of your turn gain plus one difficulty. A very useful system if you aren't planning to fire everything all the time. Vulture DMR is a long range main rifle. Excellent range, good damage, accurate and overkill for higher chance of more average damage. However, it does produce a single heat upon firing, so that's a bit annoying. In the final section, you get Kinetic Compensator and Railgun. Kinetic Compensator, is a system that when you miss any ranged weapon attack, your very next ranged attack gain plus one accuracy instead. A good system to have if you don't like missing. And finally, Railgun. Is a railgun, what do you expect me to say, anyway, railgun has an extremely long line 20 firing pattern, good damage, and AP to ignore armor. However, it has ordnance tag so it's not as tactically flexible as most would want and that line 20 can basically be treated as range 20 due to this. However, it's still a very good long range heavy weapon. As a conclusion, Death's Head is a mech platform made to provide long range fire support against far targets. Death's head might not be survivable when enemies get too close for comfort, 
but if you really want someone to be dead by the night, Death's Head can provide the means to do so.